Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Kant and we will be discussing about a small announcement which is my new upcoming batch called as BPEC Deep Learning Job Focused Program. So the primary goal of this program is to bridge the gap. So now in order to bridge your gap, so from being a fresher or being at your career gap or even experience to get a successful transition into the field of AI or into the field of machine learning, so you need to bridge a gap. So in order to bridge the gap, so we are trying to focus on three ingredients, job ready content, internship and one-on-one -on -one interview mentorship. So now by using these three ingredients, we are able to bridge the gap so that you are able to get placed. Now in order to learn this deep learning program, so now we are hosting a live class, so weekday live class. So it's going to be Monday to Friday, the timings are 9.30 p.m. to 11 p.m. IST. Now before we are understanding about what is this job ready content internship program and one-on-one -on -one interview preparation, let's try to understand about the agenda. So now if you see, this is the overall agenda which we have it. Now we will be starting, so this entire deep learning, so we will be starting with the concepts like machine learning. We try to understand uh, what is machine learning, what is deep learning. We try to understand the difference between both machine learning and the deep learning. After understanding machine learning and deep learning, we try to understand the types of AI, like what is narrow AI, what is AGI, what is super AI. And then we try to understand the concepts like Turing test. And then we try to understand models like generative model, discriminative model. We try to understand probabilistic models and deterministic models and once we completed probabilistic and deterministic let me minimize yeah let's start we will be working on our uh, artificial neural networks and then we start understanding feed forward neural networks we try to understand model architecture loss function optimizer activation functions and once we completed then we try to build feed forward neural network using JAX, J -A -X, so using JAX. And we try to build feed forward neural network using TensorFlow and PyTorch. And once we completed this uh, feed forward neural networks, then we will be starting with our text based model. So before we are getting to vision based, we will be trying to work on text based models like we work on RNNs, LSTM, sequence to sequence models, attention based models and all that. And uh, before getting into the transformers, then we get into our vision based models, we try to learn about our computer vision called as CNN, Convolution Neural Network, where we are trying to learn com Convolution Neural Network or this open C computer vision with the help of a library called as OpenCV and we try to do it with the help of TensorFlow PyTorch and even we try to take various pre-trained models from Hugging Face. And then we learn about autoencoders, we learn about GANs, Generative Adversarial Networks, we learn about neural style transfer. And once we completed this uh, syllabus, then before getting into the diffusion models, we need to have a theory or we need to have the understanding on our transformer models. For that reason, we are trying to learn transformer models like BERT, GPT, T5, and within transformer, we learn the theory behind self-attention me mechanism, multi-head attention, mass to multi-head attention, and all that. And we work on layer normalization, mass, all these uh, concepts. And once we complete it, then we jump into our diffusion models where we learn the theory behind diffusion models, like diffusion schema, reparameterization trick, EMA network, so unit architecture. Within unit architecture, you got your SE, RB, so like down block, up sampling block. So SE stands for sinusoidal embedding. And whereas RB stands for your, um, what is that? Uh, residual block and uh, we have down block and we got upsampling block and we got convolution 2D transpose, upsampling plus convert 2D. So we got batch normalization. So we'll be learning the theory behind diffusion models and we code them with our TensorFlow and PyTorch. And once we complete it, then we learn about energy-based models. We work on normalizing flow models. And once we completed the syllabus, then we get into both combination of text and a vision. So, or we can say MLLMs. So, we call it as multi-language, large language models. So, we'll be working on that. So, combination of text and vision. So, we work on clip architecture, DALI architecture, glide architecture. We work on how exactly stable diffusion is working. And then we try to build our own chatbots. So, with the help of building Q&A uh, chatbot using RAG architecture, using your uh, prompt engineering. So with the help of, we do prompt engineering with the help of Langchains, Amazon Bedrock, OpenAI. So again, we will be using Olama. We try to use meta models from Amazon Bedrock. We try to use anthropic models from, uh, means like, um, 
your Amazon Bedrock, and then we deploy them using Azure App Services, and we try to create a CI/CD pipeline. So we build prompt engineering, we work on RAG architecture, we work on fine-tuning techniques, we work on distillation technique, we will be work on LoRa techniques, and all this we will be working on fine-tuning techniques. And we may not do pre-training, so like that's a very cost-effective process, but we do fine-tuning in our classes. And then we do them with hugging face, and we try to work on LangChains, especially like entire work happens on LangChains. We use Langflow in order to build our LLM models in a very quick way, and then we work on agentic architecture. So now every segment, so you'll be having a project from LLMs, you work, you have a project on prompt engineering, you got a project on RAG, internship projects. You got a vision-based generative AI projects. So you got text-based generative projects on transformers especially on fine tuning and then you got a project on rnns lstms you got a project to work on rns and lstms using forecasting and you can do nlu natural language understanding tasking and natural language generation tasking using lstms and rnns and you have a vision based generative ai uh, model building you build a diffusion model so like there is a project on diffusion model and you try to work on a project on computer vision and you try to work on a project on feed forward neural network and once you develop the model to understand the model we have tensorboard so using the tensorboard you try to understand your model. Now for that reason we will be using TensorBoard as well to understand our model and how to increase the performance of your feed forward neural network and how to scale your deep learning model in a production environment. So now if you are trying to build a deep learning model like the parameter selection, hyperparameter selection in your regular environment, it's in for example you have a very big data set. You cannot trial and error the parameters. So how you can take a small data, how you can scale it to a larger data, the hyperparameter tuning, we will be learning all these concepts. So related to our deep learning. So now people who already have machine learning, they are good to join my deep learning classes where we will be discussing this entire agenda and where you will be working on closely to seven to eight advanced deep learning generative AI transformer based projects. So in case if anyone are interested, please drop your details. So the links are in the description as well as you are able to WhatsApp us to the WhatsApp number which is available in the description. And now, why we are going with this uh, approach means like why in BPEC we try to follow uh, the three-step approach. So now whatever the content I showed, it going to, you gonna learn what behind the topic, you gonna learn why, why someone need to use, for example, uh, your reparameterization trick, why someone need to use it, why someone need to use sinusoidal em embedding. So now why someone need to use residual block. So you are trying to understand the why behind every topic. And when you need to actually use your optimizers, like for example, why you need to use or when to use RMS prop or when to use Adam optimizer. So you are trying to learn behind why, when and where to use it with a proper star method in order to apply any deep learning method. You have a situation, you have a task, you got an action or an approach and based on that approach, you got a result. So like we'll be focusing on this. Once you completed your entire syllabus, then we work on the project. So every topic we are doing, for example, feed forward, you got an end-to-end -end project. On computer vision, you have a project. So that projects are also something we are doing for our clients. So that projects you can work and you can place them in your resume. So entire data, we don't share it. We try to fabricate it at a here and there so that you are handling a real-time challenges and you are working on those projects that are going to help you uh, to work and to place that uh, experience in your resume and finally one-on-one -on -one mentorship you completed your projects you completed your content now you want to work on your mentorship so where you we work, guide you on building your resume we guide you on ATS score we guide you on mock interviews job portal optimization and a LinkedIn optimization so we help you to get the interview calls as well as to clear them so how to speak so I guide you with a one-on-one -on -one roadmap so that with a one-on-one -on -one mentorship so you're gonna successfully explain your challenges one-on-one -on -one, and based on that you are able to get your resumes done you are able to get your mock interviews done so I can and share the corrections. So this is going to help you to successfully land into your job. So now if you are here as a, as a fresher or a career gap, so now the gap here is due to lack of internship projects, due to lack of proper mentorship at your interview. So in order to bridge the gap, we are trying to use the three-step approach that going to help you to successfully land into an ML engineer role or into an AI engineer role. If anyone are interested to join my live classes, please drop your details so in the link in the below or you can whatsapp us so that we will be assisting you to join our new batch so on weekday live classes for deep learning monday to friday timing 9 30 pm to 11 pm i hope if you like it so please
share your details thank you so much